everyone, my name is Pollock, and if you're anything like me, looking at something like this reminds you of your mother's cabinet. Well, I'm gonna acquaint you with some basic Indian spices that you need in your kitchen um, for, you know, the days that you don't feel lazy, you know, take a frozen meal out, and you actually wanna cook Indian food. So let's talk about the first thing. You know, I had this growing up, and my mom, till this day, always has had the same spices in her cabinet. The first one, which look like little black beads, um, known as mustard seeds. If you go to your local Whole Foods, mustard seeds are found in black, um, they're also yellow. Um, so there's a couple of different varieties. For Indian purposes, we use black mustard seeds. Um, have a very pungent flavor to them. The next, which is probably also very infamous in Mexican cuisine, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, cumin. Um, cumin is very earthy. It's in a lot of Indian dishes, uh, especially with the vegetables and a lot of the meat dishes. Um, third, I think this is probably one of my favorites. Um, you're really not an Indian if you don't like cayenne pepper. So cayenne pepper, you know, you can get it in multiple different heat levels. Um, the redder it is, the hotter it is. Um, the fourth one, which is probably a disaster to your nails, uh, turmeric. It's got a wonderful yellow, yellow color. Um, but, you know, you want to be sparing with it because if you get it on your vest shirt or your countertops, I can guarantee it's not coming out for a while. So you only need a little bit of it, it goes a long way. Uh, let's see, we have coriander powder. A lot of people get really confused because I think this guy here is also coriander. So the seeds from the coriander plant are then pulsed into a powder. So often when you're going out to shop for Indian spices, you'll notice that there's coriander seeds that come from the coriander plant or cilantro, and they dry those and pulse them into a powder. So that's what makes that. Um, we also have cumin powder. So cumin seeds are then roasted and pulsed into a powder form, which is also a very big staple in Indian cooking. And the last one, I call it the mystery jar because depending on where you're from in India, every mother has something different in here. If you're from North India, you'll have cinnamon sticks. You know, if you're from South India, you've got a lot of the Southern, you know, masalas. So today I only have cinnamon sticks because I like using cinnamon in rice. I use it in a lot of the chicken dishes I make and cloves. Don't ever bite into one of these. You will be calling 911 very, very quickly. But great flavor, you cook with it and then you take it out. So that's your quick orientation. You know, you can get these at an Indian store. They're really, really inexpensive. Um, and probably, you know, impress a couple of your friends when they come over. Um, so, and probably make your mother proud too.